How's it going people? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my VW Polo 9N where you join me on my way to Halfords to buy some bits to help me put my brand new VW Polo GTI seats into this car. I am so excited. Last week I drove all the way to Whiz Beach which is somewhere near Peterborough to get the new seats which I bought on eBay for around £180 which I think is a pretty good deal uh, considering you can't literally find them anywhere. Uh, and I bought them obviously, they're not that different to these seats that are currently in my polo and I'm pretty sure some people will mention that as well. Um, but I personally think that they'll do a much better job of holding me in than these seats. As you'll see in a moment, I'm going to go around quite a tight corner at a decent speed, obviously within the speed limit, and you'll see just how much my body kind of shakes from side to side, which I'm hoping that the bolster on the new GTI seats will mitigate basically. Someone's just been a very strange driver, hopefully you'll get to see that, but whatever. But yeah, let's let's see how they how these normal seats fare. As you can see, that's one quite tight and quick corner, and yeah, I held in quite nicely. But we're coming up to the quick one now, and this one here, it's on a 70 road, and I'm going to take it at probably around about 40, just because it's so tight. Uh, right here we go. Going to get a nice wide angle on it, and here I am, like taking it as quick as I can. And as you can see, despite the understeer, my body was all over the place. Like I was out over here somewhere. Um, yeah, to get not even over 40, I think it was about 35 to 40, uh, and I was literally all over the place. So, I'm hoping that with the new seats, it's a lot better and can really help you feel a lot more comfortable in the car, which to an extent actually aids handling. So, let's get into it. Made a friend on the other side of the road there. Thoroughly enjoyable. So here they are, my 9 and 3 GTI seats. Obviously already you can see that there's somewhat more bolster in them to kind of hold me in place when I'm turning some tight corners which would be really nice when we go to the Nürburgring later this year. But we'll test that out later in the video. For now, the tools you're gonna to need are a ratchet and an M10 spline. These are the two things that are super important for this job. This will take the seats out and this is what's going to give you the power to take the seats out. Simple as that. Let's go and do it. Right, so here's what we're gonna do. Sorry if I sound weird, I'm behind the microphone at this point. Um, we're gonna move the seat back and then that's gonna expose four bolts we're gonna remove. So we've got one and two there then. Sorry, move the seat back forward again. And we've got three and four. So using our M4, M10 sorry, with the ratchet, we're gonna remove those. But we have to remember the fact that we've got an airbag attached to the car as well. So we've got an airbag in this bolster here, which could always explode in our faces if we're not careful. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the battery out. Not take the battery out, but take the uh, connections off the battery so that it doesn't explode. Oh, clearly you can see that my uh, battery thing is slightly broken. Uh, only just slightly, I might have to fix that at some point. But here you can see obviously the two connectors, so connector one and connector two. So I'm just going to remove one of them for now. Uh, in fact, no, you know what, just to be safe, I'm going to remove both. Um, and uh, then we will work on from there. Cool, so here you can see I've just removed the battery. What I did was get a little 10 mil uh, to unscrew the outside ones on both the front, uh, on both the negative and the positive. Uh, and then I just moved them both out of the way so they can't be touching the battery at any point. That basically just helps uh, to ensure that I don't die when I'm doing this job by an airbag exploding in my face. So that's great. Uh, and then once you've done that, you need to go back into the car and move the seat back because I just moved it forward. Expose those bolts and we're going to remove those now. Cool, and as you pulled the first one out, let's put it somewhere that you're not going to lose it. So I'm not going to lose it if I use this helpful little tray. Let's do it to the other one on this other side. Oh, a lot tighter on this side to get it undone. But now that we have pulled that, 
that's all good so now we've got it a little bit looser we can just keep pulling it around until it's loose again i'm making a pig's ear of this because i've got my camera tripod in the car in an annoying spot but this is the thing you do for youtube so sweet now that feels like it's out enough so i can shove that in and give it a little spin there we go perfect so a note for anyone trying this for the first time uh that second one is really hard to get out on the inside now let's do the back ones so once you've got the seat forward same again but just in the back super simple idea the first one is often quite difficult it should be just to keep the seats down obviously So that is the seat literally undone. It's now no longer really attached to the car. So now it would be quite tempting to just rip the seat out. And obviously it does come up quite easy. But underneath the seat, we have the airbag, as I mentioned. So we don't want that to go anywhere. It's close to you on this side, which is always a bonus. <coughs> Let's give the seat a little lift. The seat's quite heavy, just for your information. Um, and as you pull it up, Underneath there, you'll just about see it. Hopefully you can see that as well as I can. But you've got right here the airbag bit. So this needs to get undone, unclipped before you can put the new uh, the new seat in. Don't pull up too hard because you'll end up probably breaking that bit, which is not ideal. This one's a little bit easier to show. So what you want to do is take the airbags out. This is the wire for it. First and foremost, there's a little bit up here, a little plug, uh, which you can kind of almost screw out. Um, it does pop out in the, in the end, there we go, so you need to pop that one out so there's no damage done. You want to pull this here, and you see the little sort of latch there. Uh, I'm using only one hand for this, so one second. Might be easier on my left. So, uh, so there, so you want to pull that bit out like so. Pull that bit up like there, and then just pull that out. It's nice and easy, and then when you put it back in, it's the same kind of idea. You lift that flat back, slide it back in until it clicks, and uh, you're all done. Clearly, now the task is to take the whole seat out of the car. Right, there they are, outside the car. Quite heavy. Um, so if, you're, if you are a little bit weaker, don't do that on your own. Cool, so at this point we've taken one seat out of the car. No airbags have exploded in my face, which is always a bonus. And I'm gonna go get the passenger seat now to put it back into the car, and then we'll go and do it on the other side of the car. Let's go. Okay, so nice and easy to get these back on, similar to how he just got that out. We're gonna just put it into the car, put the airbag back in, and then we will tie each bolt down. So it's gonna be same again with that um, airbag bit. So I don't know if you can see it fully, but I'm gonna flip that little latch back up. Once the latch is up, push the airbag bit in, it clicks. As soon as it clicks, you know it's in nice and safe. And then we're gonna just put the seat back in place now. Cool, so once those are in, you should be able to see here, I've just put the two bolts in, one there and one there, but I haven't actually tightened them up yet. I've just put them in to kind of hold them in place and they're just finger tight for now. So next step is going to be tightening them up, which I will show you because in case you don't know how to tighten these, it's, it's quite simple. Make sure it's super tight. Don't shred the bolt or anything, but uh, that should be on nice and tight there. That's not going anywhere. One quick extra one for good luck. There we go. Beautiful. And now onto the other side. Right, same again, but in the rear. Let's go. Lol. No pun intended there. Right, so there we go. All in there, in on that one, which was an absolute pain to get in, hence I stopped recording part way through. The slider works as well. You got that one there, and you got that one there. They're all in, and obviously the airbags are in as well. I did spot, by the way, I didn't actually realize this, but I haven't got a, um, whatever you call them on this, so I'm just gonna go get my cover off of that one there, and put it on there now, hold on. So to remove it, it's a very simple, just, off it comes and to replace it what you'll see here is you've got these sort of three tabs um you've got some tabs on this as well just line them up nice and straight 
on it goes and on it clicks, perfect. And at that point there, move the seat backwards and forwards. Beautiful. Right, so now I'm gonna spin my car around and do the second one. I won't bore you by taking you through step by step. I'll just do a quick little recording of each bit. Right, I am super happy. No airbag signs, no nothing. Everything turned on as normal. Obviously it didn't like being off the battery briefly, but I'm happy. And just as a word to the wise, when I was doing my second bolt on this, it almost rounded off with the spline tool. So um, be careful when you're taking these off. Inside there's often a lot of gunk and that was what was causing mine to not really get any good purchase and then cause it to round off around the top so i was lucky on this occasion to be able to get this bolt off uh, i'm going to clean it out fully i've just been using a flathead to clean it out but you can blast it out or whatever but yeah just a word to the wise whenever you're doing this be careful of rounding out these bolts so clean out any gunk inside it makes life easier Right, that's it, I've tightened them up. Let's have a look at how my 9N3 GTI seats are looking in the VW Polo 9N. Yes, so I'm very happy with these. Obviously, I'm not a big fan of the GTI logo or the fact that these don't match with those, because obviously the car isn't a GTI, and I'd quite like the two sets to match. Uh, so, if you know a reupholsterer, I know one of you mentioned it already, uh, hit me up and I will be reupholstering the interior of the car, if possible. But since we're here, why don't we try sitting in the car? Ooh. Oh, that just feels so good. I mean, the driving position is definitely not what I'm used to and I need to change that driving position immediately. I actually don't know where I normally sit. It's probably something that's a bit too close. Maybe around here somewhere, that feels all right. I'll work that out as we go. That's always the problem with changing seats and that kind of stuff. There's only two things I have to do. Step one is to sort the battery out and make sure that we don't get a airbag light on there, which would be really annoying. And step two is to go back around that corner and see if it holds me in a little bit tighter. Let's go. Let's see if this works. So I'm praying that there's no airbag lights. Oh, there's a beep. Yes, no airbag lights. Some reason I got my indicator wrong, but other than that, we're good. So that was step one. Step two is taking that corner again. Oh wow, I just feel so much lower in the car. Like. I know that I can change that through this thing here. Oh, maybe not. I, I'm just gonna leave it here. This is this is this is fine. This is, this is enough for the test. I'll work out my proper season position shortly. But for now, this this will do. Let's do a momentary stop off just there, as the camera was actually falling off. Um, this is a very uh, professional production that I do here. Sorry, I'm literally just learning how to use this camera in my car, so it doesn't make life easy. Now it is pulling out of here. Yeah, we're out. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Right, so we're coming out to that corner now. I hope you can see me. So taking the first left that was kind of a bit tight, yep, and that was perfect. I'm gonna give these guys in front of me a little bit of space so I can take this corner uh, of my own accord at a decently fast uh, pace, if you know what I mean. I've come out here at the wrong time of day for this, really. Uh, right, let's, let's wait for these guys to go a tiny bit. Perfect, look at that, absolutely perfect. So we've got cars coming on this side. Now let's go. Oh my gosh, it's so different. So, did, did, I mean, you went all over the place, but if you hadn't gone all that, did you see that? I just, I just, I stayed in place. This is, this is revolutionary for this car. Honestly, that is absolutely revolutionary. We're gonna go through another tight corner in a second and, uh, and I'll show you on that one too. Right, here we go. First tight corner of the two. Look at that, I am, it, it's doing this at like 40 miles per hour and I've not moved. I've just stayed in place. That is absolutely incredible. All of my organs are still in place. I haven't gone flying out the car. I'm hoping that this works for my friends that my girlfriend no longer shouts at me for driving too quickly around corners or whatever. This is such a good investment. I'm so glad I spent 180 quid on these. Uh, obviously buckets would have done the job even better, but they would have ruined the usability of the car, basically. I, I want to be able to kind of move the seats forwards and backwards. So here we go, here's another tight corner. Let's give these people in front of me a bit of space. 
again, absolutely perfect. I'm so happy with that. I know you guys are all going all over the place, but I'm not, and that's the main point. It's very happy. Right, so we're home again after the first drive with the GTI seats. I have to say, I am very impressed. I didn't realize what I was missing out on until I actually got the chance to sit in some of these nice seats. Um, they work really, really well. If you've got a 9N and you want to upgrade to the 9N3 GTI seats, they are literally a plug and play. You can just take out the other ones and put the new ones in. They should be a very easy fit as this video hopefully has shown. Very, very happy obviously with the way that they feel when you're driving the car. It is a massive upgrade if you're going from those seats. Uh, obviously, if you're going to upgrade from sort of slightly more bucketed seats anyway or slightly more bolstered seats you're going to want to go towards buckets these aren't bucket seats it's as simple as that they don't give you that same level of sort of track feel but they do really hold you in i'm very very happy with the bolster um just for reference of size i'm about six foot and kind of wide-ish so yeah it, it fits me perfectly and hopefully it fits you too oh one thing before i end i forgot to mention is topic of the week this week what's the most difficult job you've ever done on your car let me know in the comments and we'll have a chat about it as always remember to like comment and subscribe i really really appreciate all your guys comments and support it's super super fun to chat to you guys and kind of build this channel some more but as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Listen.